got some games today uh, without you. I had the kids with me. It was pretty interesting. But see, this sucks. I wish I could. I could actually have a Saturday where I could do something. You know. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be you, me, and my kids, and your kids. I'm cool with that. Actually, your kids. We can. They, they they got, go you got somebody. You can take them too. No, what'd you get, man? Uh, well, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that you, obviously Robotech. Battle Cry. Yeah, you got that. Love right? it. Love it. Mm -hmm. I never did played you, it. Did, did Look you... at this, though. Look, I like this. It's got the registration form in <laughs> it. TDK. Yeah. Uh, don't normally. It's not a show about prices here. The hair on this, and it's not mine. You got somebody's pubes on it. Yeah, already? foreign pubic hair on my. Yeah, it's... PS, beautiful, immaculate PS2 game. I don't think anyone ever played this. Anyway, two dollars half price books. I don't usually that's, gloat, that's, gloat about price, good. but that's pretty good. All right. um, <laughs> uh, and then I picked up a good one I like, Resident Evil Zero. I need to start collecting Is that your Resident phone, Evil. Phone, dude. Nearly. It's 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 you, my it's my it's my my lo my lovely girlfriend. You threaten, I, 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 you threaten your kids within an inch of their life. Hang on, let me let me tell. Hang on, hang on, let me tell. I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna tell her I love her, and then we'll, we'll continue. Talk hang on, me, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, Resident Evil Zero just got a GameCube a couple weeks ago. Completes. No, it doesn't complete because I still need Resident Evil Four. I'm not gonna bother with the other ones because I already have them on uh, PlayStation 1. I've had them for 15, 20 years now. So I'm the game I never get rid of, you know. I, that's the one thing I haven't collected yet was anything Resident, Resident Evil. Evil yet. Yeah, I always try to get you to. I'm like, hey, Resident Evil, and you're like, I, I, I'll start. Like, I'll, I'll start the, I'll start the next. You're time. like, but I want, a I want Alien Colonial Marines. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not one of my better choices. Yeah, and I got something back that I used to have, Phantom Brave. You're not really into strategy RPGs. I've never heard of that one. Cutesy anime ones. It's actually, instead of a grid, they all just kind of pile up like some sort of weird anime orgy. Um, like, like it's, they just, like, you just, you just move them. You just move them, and then they're out of points to move. So they just become this big pile of, like... So it's, yeah. a, it's like it's, it's like when they're trying to get rid of the goobacks on South, South Park. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. This is gay. This is really gay. Yeah. This is even gayer than all the men getting in a big pile and having sex with each other. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Everyone, back in the pile. Back in the pile, everyone. We're going back to the pile. Jump in, on, on, everybody. Mind. We're going back to the pile. Yeah, come on. Uh, um. That's but a... it's just like mine, except mine had a book. But it's got, oh, manual is. It's got the music CD. I can get the manual. Nobody cares about this game but me. But um, that was good. Here's one you probably didn't expect, but I found it at an antique store in Hearst. Wonder Boy in Monster World is a 2D action RPG. Um, a lot of people like it. People are crazy about this game, and I couldn't I, believe it was just. I don't here. believe I've ever played that. <laughs> I've ever seen it. I, I had to. Ask, is, is, I mean, I had to a, ask the lady, and I was like directing her, and she's like a hundred years old, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, that one, the, the one with the guy with the sword, and she's like, they all have swords. So is that a, an obscure title, or is it? Not really. Not it really. So is, is it, it was under twenty, but it might just be that guy giving out really good deals because his stuff is cheap. Where, where was that again? A, I'm not telling everybody. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> you, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> you, you, watch, like, you ever watch a game chaser? They yeah, they didn't matter. we're not gonna tell anybody. I ain't okay. gonna tell anybody. And I'm not abusing the games. There's a there's a bed over here, in our if you can't tell of our expensive production values. Uh, nightmare creatures, so we can see if my wife can play it. Nice. Not just, not that she's scared of anything. It's just she is horrible at <laughs> 3D games. Was yeah, but that, was, that was cheap, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this was six dollars. Nice. And I'm gonna we, we went to a place that I'm not gonna talk about, but it was twenty, and I really hate that markup on stuff. People getting just too greedy. And then hey, look, I finally got Jet Force Gemini. How long did you walk around with it? Well, I didn't walk around with it because then that would have been shoplifting. <laughs> I'm just well, you <laughs> know we were at Comic Con and I was just like I'd walk around and stare at it. 
Wasn't that wasn't on the? Weren't you looking at it for like GameCube or something at first? No, no, it's only on Nintendo. It's only on yeah. Nintendo. It's only on Nintendo. On, on N64. Okay. We just got the 64 at Christmas. I got my wife the 64 at Christmas because I'm romantic like that. And then, uh, and then we were, and, you know, we'd bought some games and things like that, and I was like, "Oh, it's a good one," and it's like twelve dollars. But I kind of, I wasn't really there for video games, you know. It was Comic Con, and I had. I mean, yeah. I had to get, I got a picture with Carol from Walking Dead, I got a picture with River Song, and I, and that's really what I was there for. And while you guys were upstairs Stuff waiting, like I loaded myself down and was very tired. I found something more rare by not buying this, though, was little Bruce Lee figures, and you know how I love Bruce Lee. That's right. So, uh, there were these little, they're called Bruce Lee cake toppers, I don't know whose cake that is, but uh, it was like a Bruce Lee cake topper, and it was... Um, uh, and then, and I was like, oh, and it just unlocked a whole world of different Bruce Lee. I have like four of them now. I'll bring them on the show sometime. Right. I don't know if I've shown you them. Have I showed you them? Yeah, I've seen them. Oh, okay. I've seen them on your on your desk. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. When been my desk was. Visible. And then you had to send something off to get an arm. Oh, or you'll something? see my desk when you do it. When you finally do a, uh, um, can she play it with my wife and see if she, when you when you pick a game and bring it over and I'll. Well, uh, I'll uh, set that one out, and you can sit there and laugh. I got to show you. The, I'm, I think I'm going to shoot a reaction video of you watching the video of her playing. <laughs> if I can salvage the audio and make it entertaining, because it's not. But uh, yeah, I went to Denton with two kids today. I just kept driving. Did, I just kept driving north, hoping to find, uh, hoping to find something. And uh, driving north at 377. So I went to Watauga, Rono, North Lake. I ended up in Argyle and was like, screw it, I guess I'll go to Denton. And I got there and I had to take a giant crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I got two kids in a double stroller because it's just easier that way. They're, you know, one can walk, but. So, so first I walk in with two kids and I'm like, like the, the boy wants to be held upside down and the girl wants to unstack all the Wii games. And I'm like, okay, so I was like, I'll be back probably. So I go back to the car and I get the double stroller and then I go into Kroger next door and they have a like a um, handicap stall is all they have. So that was like perfect because the double stroller is like side by side. You've seen so it. So your like, kids had to suffer. No, I just turned them around and pushed them as far away. <laughs> as far away as I could. I didn't give them anything to look at but like a silver wall. But they, they were fine. They were fine. It wasn't necessarily the view I was talking about. Right. It's, 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 it's the other senses. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is already uh, this is already going south for a first episode, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. Uh, now I was reading some online. Uh, I was gonna try it out myself. Uh, obscure system. Uh, the 3DO. Uh, yeah. The wait, wait, wait. No. They're they're no. they're using no. What they're doing is, is, is it's on Android. Uh -huh. It's an emulator. Yeah. Uh, uh, our tablets and our phones should be able to run it. I was going to try it out. Oh, 3DO emulator? Yeah, it's a 3DO emulator. I'm not big on emulation. I guess if you're just trying it out, though. I well, I just wanted to try it out. It's, just, uh, it's like, it's just like D-pad shooters is all it is. Like, that's the system to me. Yeah. If you're not playing on a 3DO system... What are you playing with? Presenting 3DO, the most advanced home gaming system in the universe. It's time to put away your toys. Back to the 3DO. I don't want to own one. But, but, I mean, okay, I do want to own one. I don't want to pay a lot for it. Right. I don't know where I'm going to put it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know if I would even play it or support it. I don't know what's on it. What's on it? You know? Not really. Hmm. Okay. It, well, it, was, I mean, it, was one, it was one of those things I wanted to give a shot. You know, I yeah. never, I mean, uh, I had a... I that had brings a, me to the point of the show, though. This show is about rebuilding what we had. Right. So the 3DO, that's why it's so far on my list. Cause I didn't have, I mean, I, I didn't right. have it. I didn't care. Who could afford it then? No. I mean, you're you're absolutely right. I, I never mean, knew anyone who had one. Uh, Best Buy had one. 
<laughs> so I put what I saw it at. Well, there Phillips you go. CDI is like is in the same like crap bucket as that to, for me. I had a I had an Atari Jaguar. Yeah, I guess like you know years from now when I'm like scouring the earth for for more and more obscure systems, I might run across a 3DO and be like, take all my money, you know. I got you. Yeah. Mm. But that's the point of the show: is rebuilding what we what we what we lost because of financial reasons or <laughs> more more or less or just uh, childhood stupidity where you want <laughs> tell me about it where uh, <laughs> you get a you get a PS2 and you think oh I don't need these PS1 games anymore here's my sweet Coden my sweet Coden 2 here's my uh, Sayuki Journey West Final Fantasy Tactics Black Label all my siphon filters, not all of those are expensive to get back. No. I, and I've got them all back at reasonable prices. I'm not, I understand I'm going to have to go to retail stores because there's there's no way I'm going to, in a, like 110 degree weather, go to a flea market with two children. I mean, that's child abuse. Sit there yeah. sweating balls all day, no. sitting in ball suit. Right. Uh, no, man, it's been a heck of a journey though. I mean, like now I'm at, a, I'm at 199 games now. That's cute. Whatever. <laughs> uh, There's people on here who think that they're 99 gear. They're like, like they're like, crap. I got that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know they, they got, got that, that, but that. Uh, but, but like, we're rebuilding, you know. I'm I'm rebuilding what I lost. You yeah, it's a tough time to rebuild, though. Yeah. To find a good deal on anything. Metal Storm we used to have Metal Storm. Bought it for a dollar at a. Uh, you're then you're like your best friend snipes things from you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He sniped the. You, you got the. Uh, what was it? Um, more, uh, I didn't even remember what it is now. No, Ninja Turtles 2. But it was a good price, and I found it for the same price at the Burleson Game Exchange, because the Burleson Game Exchange is awesome. Um, if you ever in Burleson, stop by there. Um, I passed by there you didn't for years, years and didn't even realize it was there. there. Taking my kids to my dad's house, and didn't realize it was sitting there. Yeah. And like, we go out there, and you're like, it's right over there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Burleson Game Exchange, anyway. Go there. It's great. Kleber Game Exchange, awesome. Game and Movie Traders. I didn't want to leave. They offered me a job. If I didn't. <laughs> I, I mean, if I lived in Kleber and had no student loan debts, I would probably, I probably would have taken the job. Like it was. It looks like a fun place to work. And you know, the guy was like, "I'm on YouTube. Have you seen me?" Because I saw him on like the Game Chasers. Right. And, <laughs> I got at least you're not the all right guy <laughs> because uh, yeah he'll never live that down for the you know for the as many followers as those guys have. Uh, what's something you want to rebuild? Uh, what's something you had? Something I had. You had rad. You didn't. You had rad. You got rid of it and you got rad again. That's that. That was huge. That was giving up though, because you went online. That's almost like that, that's the game. I had the game the, we play is we try to get it all out in the, the store water. Yeah, because we feel like eBay and Amazon they kind of ruin that whole store experience. Because we love stores. Like yeah, I really do. my wife uh, she was like I don't know what you're gonna do because all the Suncoast videos are closing. Do you remember Suncoast? Yes, I do. It was my mecca. I used to go there and I could just look through them until she was just like, we have to go. Why? Because they've left, they've stayed open an hour later for you to look through everything. I was never ever like looking for like anything, you know, like Hollywood though. I was, I was like, you know, Blue Shield, Fulci movies, like Italian horror, Kung Fu movies that never heard of. I really miss that. But, I mean, there's like Gardner's Books in Tulsa. They had everything. Not, well, they don't have games, but they have every, like, movie. Movie-wise, they have really good stuff. And they have games. There's a little section over in the corner. I don't know who, where the games go in Tulsa anymore, because, well, Vintage Stock's a huge presence there, but the game exchanges are gone. The game exchange I grew up going to is gone. When I go visit, I hate it. I do like Thrill House games in Tulsa. Um, awesome. I love the guy there. He's super friendly and smart and chatty. You know I like chatty at a store because you'll be walking around and my wife will be walking around. I'll be up there talking to somebody and uh, and that's probably how I lose a lot of games to you. <laughs> hey, all it, all it takes is a phone call, right? 
Right. <laughs> right. So anyway, on the show, we're going to do, you know, like things like, can you play it? Can she play it? Can she play it? Uh, where, where we get my wife to play games that she's not the greatest at. Uh, we shot some of it the other night. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't know what order we're going to do all this, but you know, it'll be a continuation series. We'll probably just, it's not going to be a let's play. Nobody wants to watch a whole let's play. I'm just going no. to chop it up. There's like five to ten minutes of gameplay where she's like just listening to the story anyway. And if you haven't played Metal Gear, who, who what do you first mean? First of all, you're dead to me. But if you haven't played Metal Gear, I was about to it's say, gonna man, ruin everybody has played, played Metal Gear. Yeah, and it's going to either ruin the game for you. Or it's going to be boring because you watched those ventriloquist dummy mouths so many times since 19, what, 98, 99, 97? When did that come out? Let's find it. Yeah, let's, 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 good, let's, it. let's We can actually just pull that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Uh, 1998. 98, okay. Wow. I think, wow. I, was like, I think I was like a sophomore in high school. Yeah, I think, I was, I think it was around there. Or junior. That's handy. Yeah, that is handy. Yeah, it's like, like, like I, I can't be like, hey, when was Bucky O'Hare made, James? And you just <laughs> That's where I do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw ninety dollars down there for that. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt that as low as That's your unicorn, isn't it? That's that is my unicorn. And I and look for I gave that up whenever my mom went and got the Sega. Yep. And when she got the Sega Okay. Bucky O'Hare and everything went out. And yeah, so there's that. Um, he, he wants Bucky O'Hare. I want um, Sweet Coden 2 again. Would be great. Um, what's the other one I like? Oh, Kuan. Yeah, we. Son of a. That's your Eleanor right there. That's your unicorn. I bought it for like seven bucks at GameStop when they're getting rid of PlayStation 2 games. And it's gone. And then again. I just like sold it to Movie Trading Company to buy probably Baby Formula, which is valid, you know. Valiant. That 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 was a that was a very valiant act on on your behalf. Yeah, but it's not now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, it's better than being like out there giving hand jobs for <laughs> giving knuckle dusters for nickels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you call that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So there you have it. That's kind of what this show is going to be about. Not always. No. Sometimes it's just going to be random talking, like you can tell right now. But, uh, you know, gameplay videos, things like that. I mean, we're promising all this stuff, but it's really just going to be what we want to do because, honestly, we just enjoy doing that and want to let people know what we enjoy and want to know what they enjoy. So Can't complain uh, about a free oh, show. Oh, yeah, and then when we, get, when we actually get a, those monumental occasions where we're both off to go on a game hunt, not in the, you know, Hershey Bueller's Bedford area. Uh, this area's kind of kind of dry now. Yeah. Very dry. I mean, I, I I used to could like drive out to anywhere around this area and get something in it. Yeah. Well, you know. Anyway, so. Uh. So you know, we'll reconvene next week and have some new stuff. Um. And by new stuff, I mean old stuff we bought. <laughs> That's new to us. That's a good deal. Or I mean, stuff to not... or the nostalgia bring the nostalgia back to our lives, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, pretty good pickup today. Yeah, I feel so like bad. a loser for not knowing about Wonder Boy. I had to look it up, but I had time because nobody else was there buying games as an antique store for crying out loud. So, hey, those are the best places. Resident ever. Evil Zero, though, I'm excited about. I really like the old the old style run, you know, like uh, truck controls. I mean, that's, that's a horror game to me. Like, not being able to control the guy. It's like you're like some loser that has no control of his body being chased by zombies or whatever. I'll throw some, maybe I can get some gameplay footage of that if I can ever figure out my capture device. We'll get it figured out. Yeah, we'll, get it figured. we'll get it figured out. Yeah. All right. Well, this was a, uh, I, I, I think this was all right. Yeah, this is our inaugural episode of Video James. I'm James, he's James. We're all James. And uh, we'll get better at this, I swear. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll get better. Yeah, maybe we'll stand up. Oh, well. <laughs>